glucose isomerase in nature takes glucose and it converts it to fructose as part of that process of getting to energy, to getting to ATP and glycolysis. And we mimic nature. That's a biochemistry, biology is look at nature. What is it doing? Be inspired by it. And then, uh, so this enzyme was created and it had to be immobilized and all sorts of other in the weed stuff to actually get it to work. And then it was introduced to companies to try that were trying to do it in Japan and in the United States. Archer Daniels Mindelin mm -hmm. was one of the, I think one of the first adopters and uh, standard brands. And some of these companies tried to make their own enzyme oh. and import it from other things and do it in, in plate filter systems. There's been all sorts of ways to try to apply it to actually get this syrup, this glucose syrup in contact with the enzyme so it can get to the active site and do its job. So all sorts of ways, which we can, uh, nobody needs to know all that history. But, so standard brands, they wound up becoming somebody else. You got Cargill, Staley Corn Products, a whole bunch of different companies. Corn Products Company, CPC, uh, later on. And they started applying the primitive uh, first, first initiation prototypes of the glucose isomerase. And it would take glucose, and I summarize it. And the word isomer, isomer is two Greek words. Iso means same. Mm -hmm. Mer means parts. Fructose has the exact same carbon, hydrogen, oxygen as glucose. But it's arranged differently. It's furanose rings, pyranose rings, all this stuff.